Simply Real Health in the kitchen. I've got a really good one for you today, especially if you're somebody that finds himself in need of a little bit of an afternoon boost most days. So today I was driving home thinking about how much I really wanted an iced espresso with a little bit of almond milk because it's been a long week to be honest and I know that it's going to be a long week continuing on. There's a lot going on, um, super busy and so I need a little bit of a boost, you know, even just mentally sometimes. So I know though every time I do get coffee I always seem to like it always seems to like crash in the afternoon I don't feel as good I definitely can't sleep as night and then I end up kind of like craving sugar too so it's not like the best thing it only solves the problem right in the moment and then afterwards I always feel worse so instead today I came home and made an iced almond milk matcha tea latte it's super easy to do and it may be something that's helpful for you too on those days when you know you need a little bit of a boost and you want to keep that energy going all day and then all week long. Okay, let's get this party started. So matcha is a powdered green tea that you can find in most um, natural food stores. It's very concentrated. The taste is a little bit grassy, so it's not for everybody. I'm just warning you. But it has so many more antioxidants and it gives you that more intense energy boost. It's more similar to coffee than it is to tea. So kind of a fun thing to try. So I'm just gonna do one um, teaspoon of the matcha powder, measure it out in here, and then I'm gonna pour it into, I have half a cup of like warm water. Um, don't make fun of me, I don't have a tea kettle. So see, anybody can do this. Um, I've got my warm water, we're just gonna mix it around here. And something I like to do um, is just use a little bit of a, um, like an electronic whisk and that helps like blend it really well mixes it well um, it's not super hot water because then it's going to melt all the ice and we want this to be an iced latte not necessarily a lukewarm one okay so blend it here and then you're going to add milk of your choice so i have a little bit of this um, khalifa farms unsweetened almond milk left it's usually one of the cleaner ones that you can find um, carrageenan free which is important ideally yes you could just make your own um, so you're going to pour a little bit of that in there um, probably like a quarter cup maybe a half cup if you're nervous about the taste of the matcha itself um, and then we'll blend it a little bit more and again this is going to help cool down the whole temperature so that we can pour it over our ice so next step is um, if you would like to and you want to sweeten it, I would use a little bit of um, grade B organic maple syrup or a little bit of raw honey if you want to add just a touch of sweetness to balance out, you know, some of that like a bitter bite that sometimes comes with the sometimes comes with the game. And then I'm gonna pour it over my um, ice cubes in here just to cool it down. And I like pouring it into um, a mug first so that again everything can cool and you're not going to make your glass shatter um, before grabbing your glass and then we can pour it over the top and you my friend are ready let's just try it right mm. so good you could even make a double batch of this if you want to keep it in the fridge and it's ready to go for the week so if you try this i want to know let me know how your day goes how you feel later in the afternoon especially when compared with the day that you would normally have had coffee um, leave a comment in the comments below or let me know over at simplyrealhealth.com. You can pop on over to the blog and make sure you're signed up for email updates as you go forward. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to this channel and sign up for those weekly updates. Share this video with a friend if it was helpful for you. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.